a denium portrait and pollination experiment. Hello friends. Every adenium has beauty of its own. This one I love I love for the way the base looks like. And this one I love for the way the pruned crown looks like. How close are the little twigs? From all the broccoli adeniums that I have, this one responds to the pruning best. But it didn't want to bloom as soon as early in life as the other ones. So whenever one flower would appear, I quickly, quickly cross-pollinated with some other broccoli, hoping that offspring or some of it would quite so well respond to pruning like this one. Well, it didn't happen, but this spring, voila, so many flowers on it, so many. And so, I'm going to pollinate one flower with another in hope that some of the offspring would inherit the talent of this plant to respond such a twiggy twiggy way to pruning. But I just thought that before I do that, I show, I'll show you the portrait of this very twiggy adenium bonsai, which I showed you before, but this time it is, it, it is in full bloom. Because as soon as I'll pollinate it, this beauty would be gone, invested into, hopefully, propagation of this characteristic. So, now that you've seen it, I can go on and pollinate it and maybe later show you how it looks right after pollination. And there is still plenty flower buds. The flowering is still not over. So there is more beauty to come. All right, every flower had five petals and the three upper ones I peeled off, here they are, in order to access the pollen and move it to the stigma of a flower next to it. I don't know if you notice, but there are two types of toothpicks being sold. One is a round and very pointed, and one is angular. I use the pointed one 
to open the inside of a flower those little sections so that with the moistened tip of the angular one I can take the pollen from one flower and uh, yes rooster rooster you watching you're taking notes you remember what I'm doing okay thank you good boy and deposited on the underside of a stigma of another flower because if I were to put it on the underside of a stigma of a same flower then it'll be a little bit less compatible yes rooster yes okay this is how it looks I'm not sure if it will show on a video this is how it show once I open it so you can see the pollen being right here and the part of a stigma where it should be deposited is right here okay so I open the filament on each flower and I'm, I can show you each one in a hope that on one of them the camera will show you show it to you clearly some of them have more pollen some of them less but the new pollen is gray color kind of a triangle shape okay and now I'll wet the tip of the angular toothpick and start transferring like this maybe you wonder how can I do such a small delicate thing but uh, the trick is that I have attached to my head uh, 10 times enlarging magnifier let me show you let me take it out of my head okay it looks like this it's called visor or visor or something it makes my eyes visor purchasable through Google by mail okay done and now to prevent sun for drying from drying too quickly and from ants and fly and butterflies and moth cross-pollinating with something else than me the matchmaker designated I will bend the bottom two remaining petals and glue the thing with adhesive piece of taper, paper little did they know when they manufacture these labels that they did it for the benefit of a Damien beauty all right the flowers are wrapped up the project is wrapped up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven flowers I'm not expecting to have a eleven 
successes seed pods created creating itself <clears throat> growing some plants are very self compatible some are very self incompatible if too many seed pods start growing i would thin them because i don't want the plant to be ex exhausted and as far as offspring the seed uh, the seedlings i don't expect each one to be having this very very good response to pruning just like not every child of olympic gymnast becomes an olympic gymnast so diradenium you climb on my mount olympus with your ability and now happy growing babies bye 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 and here is a water from me wetting the toothpick bye bye water Goodbye, friends.